In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the XNES trading platform for beginners. In order for you to start using the XNES trading platform for trading, you want to make sure that you have an XNES account. So once you create an account, this is going to give you an access to your XNES personal area here. So in order for you to start trading, what you just need to do is that you want to make sure that you come right here where it says trading on the XNES dashboard and you want to scroll down and then you want to look for an option that says XNES terminal. So just click on there and basically this is going to open up the XNES trading terminal. So right here on the XNES trading terminal, this is where you can take your trades. As you can see right here on the left right here, this is where we have our pairs and to the right here we have our chart. So right here on the left where we have our symbols, you can select any asset that you want to trade. Like take for example, let's say you want to trade gold. You just need to select it like this, which is Zhao US dollar here. As you can see right here, this is going to open up the gold chart right here. And let's say you want to open a different pair. Like take for example, let's say you want to open Euro US dollar. You can just click on it like this. And basically that's going to add that particular pair or symbol right here on the chart. So if you have some pairs that you want to trade and you're not seeing them right here, what you just need to do is that you can just click on the search bar right here and then you can search for any asset that you want to trade. Like for example, let's say you want to look for US 30 index. You just need to search it like this, just like this, and then click on search. And you're going to see the US 30 index appearing right here. So to edit on our chart, we just need to click right here. And as you can see, that's basically going to add the US 30 index on our chart right here. So if we come back right here, and then you come right here where it says favorites, and then click on this arrow here, this is going to show you a lot of group of different assets that you can trade right here. Like 10, for example, let's say you want to trade stocks. You just need to open the stocks group right here like this, and you'll be able to see different stocks like Apple. And if you scroll down right here, you're going to see more and more stocks that you can trade right here on the XNES trading platform. So I'm just going to click right here once again on this arrow. And if you want to trade, take for example, let's say you want to trade cryptocurrency, you just need to click on crypto here like this. And this is going to show you different cryptocurrencies that you can trade on the XNES platform. So if you want to add any of these crypto assets to your chart so that you can do your analysis and start trading it, you can just click on right here like this and you'll be able to see the chart of that particular asset right here on the chart here. So coming right here on the top, you can see we have these assets which are on the top right here. So basically this asset right here, they are added right here when you create a list of your favorite assets. Let's say you have certain assets that you only trade and you just basically need to put them right here for easy access. You just need to click right here. And then this is going to show you this search bar here where you can search for any asset that you want to add to your favorites. Let's say we want to add our asset, which is US 30 index for this example. We just need to type it like this. And once it appears on the search results right here, we just need to make sure that you put or you check on this tie here. By just doing this, this is basically going to add the US 30 index on our favorite list of pairs so you can find it right here which is at the bottom right here so right here on the charts as you can see we have different tools that we can use to do our analysis if you look on the left right here we have these drawing tools like 10 for example we have this trend line tool that we can use to draw our trend lines so if you click on this trend line tool and then put it on the first point on the charts and you just drag it like this you can see you'll be able to actually draw your perfect trend lines right here on the xnes trading platform so you can also use tools like the drawing tool right here, as you can see here, and you can also find many tools. If you want to add more tools right here, you just need to expand the section that you want. Like for example, you can actually scroll down right here, or you can come right here on the uh, trend line section. You can find more tools. This area here, this is where you can find the drawing tools whenever you want to do your analysis. If you just go at the top right here, you can see that the first section which is right here this is where we can find our time frames where it is written 1m this is where you're going to find all your time frames that you can switch into we have the one hour time frame we have the two hours four hour time frame if you want to add more time frames right here you can just click right here and you're going to see more different time frames that you can switch into let's say you have your favorite time frames that you normally use most, most of the time and you just need to add it to your favorites so that you can assess them easily. You just need to click right here and then just add as many time frames that you use four hour, one hour in the daily time frame and lastly the weekly time frame. So by just doing that, as you can see right here, that's basically going to add those time frames right here on the top 
so that you can use them whenever that you want to use them so if you come right here on this next icon if you click on this icon right here this is where you can see different chart formations for your chart so you can switch into any of these chart formations let's say you want to switch into line chart you can just click right here on line and as you can see that's basically going to to switch the chart formation from candlesticks into the line chart so if you want to switch back you just need to click on this section again and then you want to look for candlesticks which is right here and then click on candlesticks and as you can see that's basically going to switch you into candlesticks so right here we have an indicator section as well so if you want to add indicators or if you use indicators you can just click right here on indicators and then right here you can search for any indicator that you want and you can also scroll down if you have a specific indicator that you want to look for let's say you want to add an indicator on your chart you just need to click on it like this and if we come back right here you can see that we now have the MACD indicator right here on our chart so in order for you to remove it you can just see the section right here which is to the right right here on the indicator we have this delete icon right here so you just need to click on it so that you can delete this particular indicator right here another thing that is very unique right here on the excellence trading platform is the bar replay tool so as you can see right here we have the bar replay tool right here so if you click on it you can use it on your chart so let's say you want to remove all these candlesticks right here from this point basically that's going to do that so now you can use the bar replay tool as you can see here you can pause you can do anything you can do your analysis and your projections and you can actually use this tool right here so if you look at the top right hand corner here you're going to see that we have the sell button and the buy button so these are the buttons that we're going to be using to trade right here on the excellence trading platform so if you click on sell 10 for example that's basically going to open this particular section that you're seeing right here on the right the first section right here where we have the asset and if you scroll down this is where you can choose the type of order that you want right here it says market or pending order so if you actually come down as well you're going to see where it says volume this is where you can type your lot size so as you can see right here we're having 0 0.01 so if you want to change it to any lot size let's say 0.05 you can actually do so as you can see right here and at the bottom right here you can see we have the take profit section and the stop loss section so right here this is where you can set your stop loss you can set your take profit as well right here on these two sections so once you're done with everything right here and you want to actually sell the market you just need to come here and then basically click on sell your trade and once you just click on sell that's basically going to sell the market so the process is just the same if you want to buy the market you just need to click right here you can set your settings and once you're done you just click on buy right here to buy the market so if you just come right here on the top you can see right here this is where we have the account section so if you click on right here this is where you can see your account information you can see your balance your equity and everything right here and let's say you want to go ahead and make a deposit into your account you just need to come right here and you can deposit or withdraw into your trading account so basically guys i think that's all that you need to know in order for you to start trading using the xness trading platform